Hey there, I'm Dave Jacobson, and this is a product overview of RenderHogs, my new script for After Effects. This script aims to improve the responsiveness of heavy comps by letting you tag any resource-intensive layers and effects. Everything that's been tagged can be toggled on and off at the click of a button. It also includes other various tools for maintaining comp responsiveness. Let's take a look. So I'm working on a bunch of effect shots right now that involve lasers. I've pretty much got the look of these lasers nailed down at this point, but I want to fine-tune the animation. But my comp's a bit slow. If I frame forward, it takes about a second and a half to two seconds for it to update. And honestly, I really don't need to see my comp with all these effects switched on. So what I want to do is create two states for my comp. One's going to be with all my render hogs switched on, and one's going to be with them switched off. So I've got my render hog script loaded over here in the corner. And I'm going to use it to tag anything that I deem to be a render hog in my comp. And that can be layers or effects. So I'm going to grab this layer here. I'm going to mark it as a hog. I'm going to grab this one here as well. It's my lens flare. I'm going to mark it as a hog as well. And then I'm going to grab all these glow and blur effects on my laser, and I'm going to mark those as hogs as well. So now everything's switched off, but it looks like the laser has disappeared. It's actually just very, very weak because all these glow effects were making it very intense, and it was showing up at 10% opacity. So what I actually want to also do is I want to make this value 100, but I only want to do that when my hogs are disabled. So what I can do is highlight the property, as I've just done, and I can go up to value substitution. I've already typed in 100 there, so now I'm gonna hit value sub, and the laser's gonna appear. And now this value is 100%. You'll notice an expression has been attached to it. I can pull this down right here. And what this is doing is, it's linking to this null layer that was just created when I ran that command. It's basically telling that property to use the original value if this layer is switched on. However, if this layer is switched off, like right now, then the value is gonna be 100. Another feature that you might find useful is you can also tag substitutes in your comp. Let me show you an example of that. I have a lens blur adjustment layer right here. It's a camera lens blur effect, which can be a little bit heavy. And what I'd like to do is have a fast blur act as a stand-in when my hogs are disabled. So I'm going to mark this effect as a hog, and then I'm going to create a fast blur. I'm going to drag that on there. I'm going to set the value to be the same as the one above. And then I'm going to mark this fast blur as a substitute. So now when I enable my hogs, you'll notice this is switched off and the camera lens blur is switched on. And when I disable, it's going to do the opposite. So now this effect is acting as a stand-in for my camera lens blur. This technique can be used in a variety of ways. I'm going to turn this effect back off now. And another feature I'd like to show you is Make Indicator. When I click on this, Render Hogs places the substitute tag onto my comp, so now it's actually a visual indicator. It does this for two reasons. One is so that you know by looking at your comp immediately if the render hogs are switched on or off. And then also when you produce renders, this will help you catch any renders going out that were rendered without the hogs switched on by mistake. So now that all this is set up, I can move in between my comps. I can enable my hogs at any time, and they'll be switched on in all of my comps. I can disable, and the same is true. So this script is allowing me to turn all the render hogs in my project on and off very quickly. And when I frame through this comp now, you'll notice it's much more responsive than before. If I turn the hogs back on, it'll go back up to being about two seconds again. So I want to show you one more example using value substitution that may not be so obvious. I'm generating some 3D text in my comp using element. And one of the things I do is I take the super sampling and I increase that up to eight when it's time to render to avoid having any kind of aliasing. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this set to 8. But what I want to do is make it to where it's set to 0 when I'm actually working with the comp. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to actually apply a value substitution of 1. I'm going to click value sub. And now that my hogs are disabled, this is set to 0. When I hit enable, this is going to go back to 8. And what's happening here is very simple. The 1 that I entered in actually corresponds to the first item in this list. So if I'd wanted it to be 4, for example, I would have entered in a 3. One, two, three, four. It's that simple. For my last example, I want to show you value reduction. It works a lot like value substitution, except that it's going to take this value and it's going to reduce it down to whatever percentage I specify. In this case, that's going to be 20%. So I'll click on value reduction, and then I get an expression and a new null layer. And just like before, if the hogs are enabled, it's going to use the original value, and if they're disabled, it's going to take whatever value is here, and notice I have keyframes, and it's going to take anything specified by those keyframes and reduce that down to 20%. And these keyframes will not be modified. The expression will be doing all of that. 
So the last thing I want to show you is that when you download render hogs, I'm including some extra scripts. I'm calling these command scripts, and what they do is basically fire off the individual commands from this interface. So that means that it's actually possible to have this interface closed out, and I've mapped a couple of those commands down here on my FT toolbar. You can do this with any script launcher. So I can disable my hogs or enable them from the FT toolbar and not even have the main script open. So that's it for this overview. Please don't hesitate to open a support ticket if you have any questions about this product. Thanks so much for watching.